Once condemned to work in the streets of Bangkok, these elephants are now living the peaceful life in northern Thailand. Each day after their morning bath, they tuck into a gourmet meal of bananas, salt, rice, and most importantly, coffee beans. And it's these beans that will eventually be made into a unique and highly exclusive brand of coffee. The man behind the scheme says the elephant's role is no mere gimmick. They're digesting and fermenting the coffee, much like grapes in a vat to make wine. And the result is a coffee that has notes of chocolate, malt, hint of spice, some grass, and very delicate, almost tea-like. Passing through the digestive tract of the animals removes the bitterness from the beans. They're then gathered up before being washed and dried in the sunshine. The company works directly with the keepers, known as mahouts, and gives some of the proceeds to the charity which supplies the elephants. We provide the elephants for free. What he does is he provides income for the mahouts and for the wives, the people who, who actually produce the coffee, feed the elephants and then, and then pick the beans. To make one kilo of the coffee takes 33 kilos of beans. For added effect, this hotel serves a drink from a 19th century French coffee machine. The unique history and provenance of the drink, as well as its flavour, seem to appeal to discerning caffeine fans. It's a good, good taste. Yeah, caramel, chocolate like this. And for me it's important, it's not bitter. The coffee does come at a price, $66 for just 35 grams, about enough for five espressos. Thus far it's only available in plush hotels throughout Asia, but it's soon due to go on sale in Europe too. The money raised should help guarantee an even brighter future for the animals that help create it.